Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video is composed of things that I tinkered with throughout the day. For step-by-step -step detailed instructions of those tasks, you can click on the links in the comment section below. This video should contain tips and tricks of things that I've learned throughout the year. Now, I only plan on leaving this video posted for about 30 days. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching. Man, they hadn't put any cars out in a while. Because that sob was there a couple days ago. I come to get a couple of uh, screws and bolts and nuts missing from Queen B. So I shouldn't be here long. I uh, ordered a strut two days ago. And that thing arrived this morning. So it must have drop shipped from a local location. Maybe it was in some kind of Amazon warehouse or something. That thing got here quick. At any rate, I'm going to go ahead and probably install that tomorrow. If I find the rest of my timing belt stuff for Panther. And then the only thing I'll have left to do on Panther besides the seat skins will be the uh, air conditioning. I think the compressor's bad. Hopefully I'll get Queen B done today. The front struts, get that car cleaned out, start detailing it, have a couple of knick-knack little things to do. I'm gonna go down to this new row just to make sure they hadn't dropped no new P80 Volvos. And then I think there's a sedan out there I can get a couple of nuts and bolts off of. Then get down to the shop. I need to run an errand for mom first. Hopefully it won't take me long to swap this stuff over on the front suspension. Just the newest row. I guess they did fill it out. Even though they didn't take all of those cars out of there so man this rose actually mixed I don't think I've ever seen that before the car down there said it was from October I don't know anyway I think this is the newest row here there's a Volvo there I took a couple of parts out the other day well I take that back look like they put two more rows out so I think this is the old row here dang this is a new row too wow some BMW wheel let me see what this is. Okay, there's the old row. So we're all the way down to the next to the last row. Let me see if anything new's up there. There's a P80 up there. It's 70 here overall in bad shape, but heck, I got a couple of the uh, pieces of hardware I need. Let me go see if I can find an 850 sedan to get the other few bits. Found this little critter in the 850. I'm sorry, the S70. Look like you're missing a finger. Other than that, he ain't fair too bad. Look like we got a trout hook here in this BMW. I like to check the BMW trunks for the tools they have. They have decent tools, but somebody emptied this one out already. Nice little shift off. The sedan should have what I need. I just bumped the speaker on queen b and it's missing those little nuts speaker popped right out so i'm gonna take these nuts off these speakers and get out of here time for the big day headed down to the shop put on the front bill stings on queen b man i'll tell you since i put the back ones on it felt like the back not even touching the ground just floating along very smooth still getting that bouncy feeling from the front soon that'll be of the past here I am running one of mom's 
errands rolling into Bank of America. I wouldn't have an account here. My wife had one here several years ago. I shut that thing down as soon as I could. I know dealing with banks is necessary evil, but this one will not allow you to deposit cash in no one's account. You got to go get a money order or something as of December 1st, uh, 2017. So you got to have a money order, a cashier's check, or they said they will take a personal check to deposit money into uh, Bank of America. You cannot deposit cash anymore. The lady here said that you could do it electronically online. Thank you very much. Okay, you too, be safe. She said you could do it online from bank to bank, probably free. Don't know how true that is. They don't like doing nothing for free, but hey, PayPal started doing it several years ago, so Maybe some of these other banks caught on. Well, that's all done. Let's get to the shop and get this dang on uh, struts replaced. Okay, let's get this thing cracking. Get this back end finished up. Get these new struts on. I doubt I'm going to get done early enough to do an oil change, but anyway, that's what we're up to. It's off by swapping out these 10 millimeters for 12. Just want to get the right stuff in there. Buster Brown move. A quick review of the Sensen uh, struts. SEN, SEN. I put these on my uh, Volvo 850. Mine were shot. I mean, really bad. And a friend was kind enough to let me have these. That's the part number there that fits on the Volvo 850. So, here it goes. First of all, they're very inexpensive, so very affordable. Uh, you've heard the term, you get what you pay for. A lot of reviews I read online uh, proclaim that they last about 15,000 miles before they started showing signs of wear. Uh, the ones I had on there were shot, didn't have the cash to buy new ones. A friend of mine gave me these, so it was really a great thing for me uh, to be able to put something on there in the meantime. These are supposed to be nitrogen filled. Um, they claim that's a good thing. They don't wear out as fast, uh, regardless of what I've read online. However, when I put these on, I drove the car, I think about six, between six and 7,000 miles with them on. And uh, when I went to put them on, one side I had problems getting the bolt to go through the steering knuckle. It was like the holes wasn't perfectly aligned. So it was a difficult fit. So on a scale of one to five on fit, I would say it was a two. I didn't have to do any modification to it, which was good. And they did have the brackets built on that holds the ABS wire, had the hole for the um, anti-sway bar, and they mounted uh, into the strut mounts and things. So. Um, uh, two, maybe three at the most. Now, as far as ride quality is concerned, they felt a whole lot better than worn out uh, shocks or struts. However, they gave a bouncy, reboundy uh, ride. The feel from the time I put them on until now, the time I'm taking them off, at first they were a little bit harsh maybe for the first thousand miles after that they seemed to settle in and they became what i call bouncy so what i'm trying to say is say for instance you took a basketball you over inflated it and you played with it they dribble hard so i guess i would count call it a little bit of a dribble i just about felt every imperfection in the road kind of like a reboundy bouncy feel so they overreacted on minor imperfections on big bumps they sucked it up pretty good but you still had that rebounding effect as far as performance goes I have a tendency to take loops on ramps off ramps uh, flyovers a little bit aggressive in doing so as I was into the turn maybe 10 mile an hour above the recommendation 
I could feel the car, uh, I guess, swaying a little bit. I could feel a twitch in the steering wheel and the correction going on. That made me feel a little uncomfortable. Uh, other than that, they, they rode okay. Bouncy, a little bit unstable and tight cornering. Other than that, they, uh, they, they did all right. So on a scale of one to five performance, I'd give them uh, probably a two. Comfort, I'd give them maybe a two or a three. And like I said, I've only had them on there for about 6,000 miles, so I can't give them a long-term durability. But I was expecting them to last about 15 to 20,000 miles before I felt like they was worn out. Didn't get that far. I was fortunate enough to buy some quality struts, so I'm taking these off. So overall, you get what you pay for. If you think that you don't need the car more than 20,000 miles, they'll probably be okay. But if you plan on keeping the car long term, I would recommend that you not go through the expense of getting those installed. Thanks for watching. Situation looks like these uh, spring seats are starting to tear already. They got about 6,000 miles on them. And you can see down in there starting to tear. So I'm going to put some new bill steam ones on. It is together. We are ready to rock and roll. Alright, so in this video I'm going to do a little a review of the Bilstein B4 Touring shocks. I'm putting these on my T5R Volvo 850, it's a 95 turbo model, and just kind of a brief overview, let you know how they feel and ride and handle. The Bilsteins fit on like a glove, no binding, nothing hard about it, everything just bolts right up just like OEM and they already have the wire bracket there for holding the ABS wires. All done. Brand new Bilsteins all the way around. The touring style. Time to take it for a test drive. Post shocks weighed about 25 inches still. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.